Hi, I'm Brenda Walton. In my family, we all enjoy giving and receiving handmade gifts. My dies for Sizzix make it easy for the crafters in your family to create something really extraordinary and to celebrate every day of the year. The packaging for the shadow box die shows just a couple of the many examples of ideas that you can use this die for. It can be used for photos or for displaying miniatures. There are just so many things you can do with it. The die itself has eight different pieces and including the box, the window with a little inset piece, the uh, proscenium, which is uh, the top of the curtain, if you wanted to make a little theater. Also, a little label piece and a curtain. You would cut two of these curtains. This is a little oval label, a little banner, and even the little curtain tassels, as well as a base piece that sits behind the box if you wanted a little scallopy edge. For this little shadow box, I like to use a double-sided scrapbooking paper that's fairly heavy weight and begin by folding along each one of the score lines that's provided on the die. And I like to press these fold lines down using a bone folder so that the folds are very precise. And just continue doing this to all of the folds until they're all completed. Next, place a piece of acetate into the inside of the window. We're making a candy box today, so we're using an acetate window and secure that in place using just thin strips of clear tape. Place one on each side of the window. And now it's time to do the gluing. And so glue the tabs and attach them to the lid of the box or the base of the box, whichever you choose to begin with, and hold that in place using little binder clips. This will keep those glued areas from slipping while you're gluing the other panels. And just continue gluing all those tabs in place until you have finished. After you've let the candy box dry for a few minutes, remove the binder clips and it looks great. There's even a little notch in the front that allows you to open and close the box really easily. We're going to fill this box with some shred and some peppermint candies, and it'll make a sweet little gift or a favor or something you could place at each place setting if you're having a family gathering. That looks really full and very sweet ready to add the embellishments. And this makes a nice little gift for your holiday guests.